let's have a little lesson on adding and subtracting fractions with like denominators. What does like denominators mean? Well, it simply means that the denominators are the same. So, follow some steps, makes it more uh, easier for us to do. Change any mixed number to improper fractions. Add the numerators or subtract. It doesn't matter whether it's add or subtract, same thing. And this number is your new numerator. Keep the same denominator all the time. And then simplify the new fraction. That's all there is to it. So let's do that. Let's add the following fractions. So it, again, it's easiest to change it to mixed, uh, the mixed numbers into improper fractions. That's why I like to do it. It just keeps the numbers, for me, it keeps them simpler. All right, so two times five is 10 plus two is 12. So 12 over five plus three times five is 15 plus four is 19 over five. Notice the denominators are the same. So we add the numerators, 12 plus 19, and that becomes our new numerator. And we can leave it like that, or we could change it into an improper, or I mean, sorry, a mixed number, it is improper. So five will go into 31 six times with a remainder of one. So we have six whole parts and one fifth. How about a little subtraction? Let's do a little subtraction just so you can see that it's true. All right, so this one's kind of nice because there's no mixed numbers, so we can just simply go ahead, keep our same denominator, which is eight, and go ahead and subtract seven minus 12 from our subtracting integers. We know that that is negative five, and that is as simple as it will go, and so we're done. Now, when you're adding and subtracting fractions that have the same denominator, you always keep that denominator, add or subtract the numerator, and you're done. It's really that simple, and it's that fun. And that's your lesson on adding and subtracting fractions with like denominators.